species out there. Like, you could first do this thing, and then you could do another thing. For example, I could write something, and then I could read something. I could sharpen my pencil, and then I could surf the internet. I wonder what else I could combine. Hmm. I could sit down, and then I could stand up. I could shoot a basketball. <laughs> There's lots of combinations of things out there, but uh, today we're just going to be working on combinations of transformations. Okay, we've dealt with lots of things. We've dealt with translations, we've dealt with reflections, and we've dealt with rotations. Okay, um, well, let's do some examples before we move on into uh, combining them. All right, now let's say we have some point Q. Okay, let's say 2, comma 3. 2 comma 3 will be right there and I'm going to want to translate it uh, by negative 3 comma negative 4 well I'm going to take this point and go 1 2 3 negative 3 and negative 4 1 2 3 4 alright this will be my Q and this will be my Q prime that's a translation because we go choo -choo 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 and choo -choo -choo -choo. all right let's take point Q again okay and let's say one two one two three let's reflect it over the y-axis why not let's reflect over the y-axis okay so then our y-axis is right here that's our line of reflection and I can go this is my Q we can go over one two and one two more and there's my Q prime. I got my pre-image and image. All right, the last one here is rotations. And let's take our point Q again, 2 comma 3. And let's rotate 90 degrees. I like 90 degrees. All right, let's take point Q, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And we got point Q here. All right, if I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, we got to remember that a 90 degree rotation is going to change my a comma B or my any point uh, and it's going to make the A comma B switch and make the B negative so it's going to become negative B comma A okay that's a mistake by me this negative thing let's take that away and we got negative B comma A so I would translate this one to my Q prime by saying I have negative 3 comma 2 so let's go over 1, 2, negative 3, and up 2. Okay, and that looks just about right because we're going about the origin. All right, and look, 
looks like we have about a 90 degree turn around this origin. Okay, so let's move into combinations of transformation. One type of conformation is a glide reflection. All right, a glide reflection is when we first translate and we second reflect. Okay, let's do one. Um, let's say I'm going to do my first translation and I'm going to say my x comma y and I'm going to translate that to uh, x minus 7 uh, comma y plus 0. So we're really not going to do anything with the y. Don't forget that's like having a vector of negative 7 comma 0. Okay, and let's reflect over the y-axis. No, let's reflect over the x-axis. So let's reflect over x-axis. Okay, so first of all, let's grab a point. Let's take a point 5, 8. 5, 8. Okay, and let's get the point on there. Let's get 5, 8. Oh, let's not do 8 because it looks like where it's too big. Um, let's take 5, 4. That works for me. 5, 4. 5, 4. 5, 4. So then we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, we got our point there. And let's have it point A. And this is point A. And first thing we're going to do is translate. Okay, so let's translate it by negative 7, 0. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 0. And there's our A prime. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is reflect. And reflecting over the x-axis, we know that this is the line of reflection. Okay, and let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. And beyond it, we have to go 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. And that's my A double prime, because I did this one first, and then this one second. Translated, then reflect. That's called a glide reflection. Let's do other types of combinations of transformations. Okay, let's uh, take this one, and let's, uh, well, first we're going to reflect, and then we're going to rotate the same point. We're going to actually make two points this time. All right, let's take our point, uh, let's take a point A. All right, let's call it 1, comma, negative 3. And let's take our point W, and let's call it 2, comma, negative 6. Okay, and um, let's graph our points. We got um, 1, comma, negative 3, which is A, and 2, comma, negative 6, and that's W. And let's connect the lines. Okay, so we have a little line segment. We have line segment A, W. Okay, and first we're going to reflect over the y-axis. So when we reflect over the y-axis, a prime is going to change. Uh, let's see. This is our line of reflection as the y-axis. We go over one, then we go over one more to get to a prime. Here we go one, two, and then we have to go one, two again to reflect it. Okay, that's w prime, and let's connect and make a line segment. It's, a pair, it's obviously reflected over. Okay. And let's write our points out. We found that we got negative 1, comma, negative 3, and W ended up being negative 2, comma, negative 6 still. Oh, that's a W prime. All right, now we're going to find our A double prime, because now we're going to rotate. And we're going to find our W double prime, okay, because we are going to rotate by 90 degrees. Okay, so when we rotate by 90 degrees, let's not forget that any a comma b, or you could even call it x comma y, like I like to think about it, is going to turn into um, a negative b comma a. Okay, or you could think about the x and the y's, they are going to change, and we're going to have a negative y comma x. Okay, let's see if that works. All right, so let's change this one to, we have to flip these two, and this will be a 3, comma, negative 1. And the W will be the 6 and negative 2 switch, and it becomes positive 6, comma, negative 2. All right, let's graph our points. A double prime will be 3, negative 1. That's A double prime. And W will be 6, negative 2. Okay, that W double prime. 
and let's connect the points. And that pretty much looks like a rotation about the origin. This one too. Looks like a rotation about the origin. Okay, so first we started out with AW, then A prime, W prime, and then we rotated to get a double prime, W prime line segment. And that's how we compose these transformations. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is how to re we talk about if we have parallel lines. All right. Now this part might be a little bit more confusing, but you just got to imagine two parallel lines in space. Okay, and let's draw a figure. I'm going to do this all by eye, um, but I'm going to draw this line here, this little line segment. Okay, and first of all I'm going to reflect twice. Okay, I'm going to reflect twice. First we're going to reflect over this line and then this line. These lines are parallel, right? We know that. Okay, so when I reflect by eye, it goes like that. Okay, and then I'm going to reflect again over this line and it's going to, it's going to look just like that, I would guess. Okay, this is all by eye. Now what you got to notice and that is special is that the distance between these two parallel lines is, let's say, it's a D. Okay? What's really going to happen is that the distance between the first line, I mean the last line and the first line, is 2D. Is really that distance. Okay? And it's like, this is a reflection and this is a rotation. So when I reflect twice, it's the same same as a translation. Okay, you see that? It's just being translated over by 2D, the distance between the parallel lines. Okay, let's look at another one. Hopefully this isn't too confusing, but now instead of having parallel lines, I'm going to have intersecting lines. Okay, here's an intersecting line. Okay, at point, they intersect at point um, W. Okay, and I have some point uh, K. Here's my point K. And first thing I'm going to do again, I'm going to reflect twice on these intersecting lines. Okay, and watch what happens when I change K over. I'm going to reflect over. K is about there. That'd be K prime. And this point will be reflected over here. And that is K double prime. So we've just reflected twice and reflected again. But really, that is the same same as a rotation. Okay, you can see how it's a rotation. Look, the K starts here. Uh, it's a rotation about W. So it's going to be a rotation about that point. And if I take this line, look, it actually does look like it's rotating around point W. Okay? And you, one special thing you got to notice is that this angle will be X degrees. Okay? And the angle between this first point K and K double prime will end up being 2 X degrees. Okay, just like here, the distance between these two is D, and then the final ones is 2D. Here it's 2X, and the final distance is 2X. Reflect twice, same, same as a rotation. Reflect twice in parallel lines, same, same as a translation. Okay? Try the guided practice, okay, in your book, and don't forget to smile, everybody. All right? Have a wonderful day, and, uh, you know, combine stuff.